Hello everyone, my name is Christina and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the different ways that you can get work experience and apply for work experience and what to do if you're not able to get any. So before I get into the different ways that you can apply for work experience, I just want to say definitely start early. If you're watching this maybe pre-year 12, definitely make a mental note to, you know, as soon as I start year 12 I need to start looking for work experience because a lot of people leave it to mid to late year 12 which is honestly quite late and I'm sure you guys know getting work experience is so so difficult so the earlier you start the more time you give yourself to just um, apply and it's just so much less stressful so please 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 start early so the first way and the main way and the easy way to get work experience is just to speak to family members who are doctors or work in healthcare or work in the NHS now I know not everyone will fall into this category but if you do I just want to say this is probably the main way that you can get your work experience try and build a relationship with that family member or with that friend or whoever it is and let them know that you're thinking of applying to medicine and just let them know that you know it would be so helpful if you could shadow them to help support your university application and um, sometimes you might not be able to shadow them directly but they might be able to refer you to like a colleague or someone else on that ward or in their department or whatever it is but this is the main way and this is the easy way to get work experience so try and build a relationship with them um, and let them know that you're thinking of applying to medicine and to support your application you'll need some work experience so ask them if you'd be able to shadow them it might not be them directly they might be able to get you to shadow a colleague or someone like that but just um, yeah try and build a relationship with them let them know you want to do medicine and they might be able to sort something out for you so the next way to apply for work experience is to email consultants directly most university hospitals or most hospitals in general will have a list of the consultants and doctors who work in different wars and different specialities so pick a few different specialities that you like the look of and go through their consultant list and just send emails to the different consultants there i know this sounds really really tedious and a lot of work but you never know you might get a response i will give a disclaimer i did this and i didn't get any responses but i don't want to discourage you guys from doing it you might you might actually get a response from this i've actually got a template for you guys to just copy and paste an email to these consultants so I'll leave a link to that um, template in the description box below. If they've got a phone number that's even better most people don't really reply to emails or even physical letters so definitely try and ring them if you can. So on the phone you just want to introduce yourself and let them know that you're thinking of um, applying to medicine and you'd really like some work experience to support your application. So on the phone you just want to introduce yourself and let them know that you're thinking of applying to medicine and you'd really like some work experience to support your application. Stay tuned for later on in the video, I'm actually going to give you a snippet of exactly what to say on the phone in case you're wondering. So the next best way to apply for work experience is to apply online and this is actually how I got all of my work experience. I got a geriatric placement and a neonatal placement. Not every hospital will have an online application form, but most of them do. So type in on Google, medical work experience, and then your city, and there should be some results come up. Even if it's not your local hospital, it might be one on the outskirts of your city or maybe a bit further away from where you live and where you'd like, but it's something and it's better than nothing. So the next way to get work experience is through GPs. Now, if you wanna get work experience at a GP, do have it in mind that you won't be able to do it at your local GP. So this is the GP that you go to for treatment. For obvious reasons, you'll probably know quite a lot of people at that GP, and obviously that breaches confidentiality rules, so you won't be able to do that, but you can um, have work experience at a GP in maybe a town nearby to yours or the town that's um, you know, next door to yours. A town nearby, you will be able to have work experience there. Not every single GP does allow work experience students, so it's worth having a check ringing up or sending an email but ringing up is obviously better because they tend to reply more to that every opportunity that you can try and ring them instead of emailing them i would definitely do so i know not a lot of people like ringing i know it's kind of nerve-wracking and stuff and people would much prefer to send an email but you'll get so much more responses and much quicker responses if you ring them versus emailing so if you're wondering i'm on the phone what do i say so this is what i would say hello my name is christina and i'm a year 12 student studying at college and I'm wondering if I'm able to arrange some work experience at your ward, department, GP, hospice, whatever it is and yeah see what they say. If they say no then just say that's okay thank you for your time. If they say yes then I would recommend having a few dates already available before you've rang them. Have some dates available so that if they say okay when can we fit you in? 
you've already got some dates ready. So if you're not able to get work experience, then the next best thing is volunteering. Universities really like volunteering. They don't see it as a bad thing or they don't see it as worse than work experience. They know that you can have really great experiences and learn a lot from volunteering. Even if you have work experience, it's worth getting some volunteering as well. It doesn't hurt to have both. So if you want to apply for work experience, I would recommend looking in your local area for charities, hospices, any form of charity that's focused on helping people and maybe interacting with people as well. It definitely should have some form of social element. I would ring them up or email them. Obviously, I prefer to ring them just because you get a quicker response and ask if they're accepting um, volunteers at the moment and if you need to fill out an application form. Sometimes on their website, they have a pre-made application form already. In that case, just go ahead and fill that out instead of ringing them. There's even some hospitals that have of volunteering schemes so it's definitely worth having a look on your local hospital website um, I think volunteers at hospitals kind of help at meal times help the healthcare assistants and stuff so it isn't directly clinical you're kind of just helping the healthcare assistants but it's obviously in a clinical setting in a hospital so it's definitely worth having a look at if you aren't able to get work experience so if you can't get work experience, it's okay. There are still some things that you can do to show your commitment to medicine, to learn about the world of medicine. So the first one is virtual work experience. BSMS, which is Brighton and Sussex Medical School. They actually have virtual work experience. You'll learn about six different specialities and the realities of being a doctor. And it's a great thing to do if you are, if you can't get work experience because it's online. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link in the description box below. There are actually lots of online courses related to medicine and healthcare. Futurelearn.com is probably a really good website for this. This is where I did one or two medicine related courses. And yeah, again, they're completely free and you can learn about lots of different things. And yeah, it just shows that you've got a commitment to medicine. You're willing to learn about medicine outside of work experience if you're not able to get it. And read medical books. So I'm sure you guys are all aware of, you know, some of the really, really popular medical related books or books written by doctors. This is going to hurt. Um, Trust me, I'm a junior doctor, do no harm being mortal, also, you know, books like that. They're a great way to learn about medicine directly from doctors themselves. And I'd recommend reading as many of these as you can if you don't have work experience. Now, you don't need to read loads and loads of these. I recommend one or two is perfectly fine, but obviously if you don't have any work experience or any volunteering and you've just done a couple of online courses maybe, then I think it's definitely worth maybe reading a couple more of these books just to show that you are really committed and you've learned about medicine outside of work experience and I recommend reading these just to learn a bit more about the world of medicine directly from doctors themselves and I'll leave a link to a couple of my favorite ones in the description box below where you can buy them on Amazon. If you're interested in more medicine related videos I've got a whole entire playlist on getting into medical school you can check that out here. Let me know in the comments what type of videos you guys would like to see and yeah thank you so much for watching bye! of your CV or something so <laughs>